this is an opportunity for her to build her brand. And if she kneels, okay. if she kneels right after. Because LeBron is, he didn't fucking go to college. <laughs> what, are, what are some ones you actually kind of want to see? Like, I, I would want to see Homosexual Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> Big news today, Kanye West goes on another manic rant, this time about how people not referring to him by his new name, Ye, is hurting his feelings. An interesting development, as most people refusing to do so are the same people who would burn down your house for misgendering someone. During his rant, Ye threatened to sue anyone he caught saying his name wrong for cyberbullying. The threat does not have any teeth, though, as there isn't a lawyer in America who would work with him. At least none of the good ones. When asked for comment on the naming controversy around her ex-son-in-law, Caitlyn Jenner stated, I'm just glad I got to kill someone with my car. Brittany Griner was traded for a Russian arms dealer, and everyone talking about how innocent people are going to die as a result. But we're here to ask the important questions. Will BG be rusty, or will she be in great shape from her time in a work camp? Will the Mercury be able to make a playoff push? And will they be the first team in WNBA history to sell enough tickets to not be in debt? In other tragic news, U.S. soccer reporter Grant Wall has passed away while covering the World Cup in Qatar. Qatari officials have attributed his death to bronchitis, clearly missing the memo about racking up COVID-related death numbers. Members of Wall's family suspect foul play, but Qatari officials are quoted as saying, trust me, bro. In the wake of trading away a war criminal to save Brittany Griner, the U.S. government's strategy to seek justice for the death of Wall amounts to jack shit. All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to the In the Bank podcast featuring your two hosts, Jackson Fanger and myself, Rohan Kapoor. Uh, let's get this thing popping, Jackson. How's everything been going so far? I'm good, man. I'm good. Glad it's the weekend. Um, you know how it is. Awesome. All right, let's get into the first hot topic, the most lopsided trade that couldn't even get past in the 2K trade machine. Brittany Griner gets traded for uh, a war criminal, an arms dealer. Uh, we don't receive any first round picks. Jackson, just looking at the trade on a surface value, what are we looking? At? What are we thinking? So, I kind of alluded it to in the op- in the opening there, but it would be you know I'd consider taking the trade if Brittany Griner wasn't rusty from a year off, right? Like we we saw Deshaun Watson come back after a long layoff; he looked like jack shit, right? And the Mercury are in. They're uh, one spot out of the playoffs so in the WNBA. I know you don't know this, but the the top eight teams make the playoffs, right? And the Mercury are sitting in ninth. And so they need an instant impact, and I don't yeah. think she's going to be able to deliver that, even though she's just been crushing rocks with a pickaxe this whole time. Basketball is a lot of hand-eye, right? I don't mm-hmm. think she's going to have that. So with that in mind, I think it's a bad trade. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say uh, Russia definitely won the trade. All right, I wanted to go back to that point of like what exercises she was doing in prison to prepare for the WNBA playoffs. All right, yeah. so you're saying like chipping away rocks, right? Yep. Was she yep. kind of doing anything else? Uh, any lateral movement, like maybe mopping the floor, right? Um, what, what are we thinking? Uh, I get the feeling they're not really concerned with how clean those places are. That is true. Um, you know what I mean? I don't think like oh, I don't think it's like uh like a military barracks, right? I don't think they're like doing dust checks on the top of the door and shit. I think uh I think they honestly want them want them to be dirty, just crush morale, um, and just fucking make make those prisoners hate themselves. You know what I mean? I mean, they're gonna be- like it's not like the American prison system where you can go write a book and like find God. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's, I think it's a rougher experience. I think. All right, how about? Okay, maybe this was she. I mean, there could have been some hand eye coordination with her, you know, putting the soup in the bowls, right? Giving them to the other lesbians in the um, in the prison, or I don't know. Was she put in a man's or a woman's prison? Not not me. I know she's a woman, but like, I heard they really fucking mistreated her. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the Rus- Russian prison system is like. I literally just know. That they used to be the gulags, and now that's like where you go when you die in war zone. Yeah, that's all I know. Yeah, I wonder. <clears throat> I think she would be maybe maybe they got like a little bit of a gulag in there still, kind of like the COD system, where they'll just have yeah. you know yeah. who, who are they matching her up against in the Russian prison system. Are they? I don't think they're putting her against that war veteran. Like in, 
Like in hoops? No, no, no. Like if or like who's her cell cellmate? No, like if they got to knuckle up, like who who do you, like what's the build of the person? Oh shit! Like are we put talking like t- like Russian gangster tattoos everywhere, or, or are they putting her against like you know, like what's what's her matchup looking like? Well, if it's a female prison, she runs that yeah. shit, right? Like, um, I don't think anyone's fucking no. crossing her. No. Uh, she probably. Who knows? Maybe she's like pissed to leave. Like maybe she was just swimming in chot. She's a lesbian, yeah. right? Yeah, maybe she was just getting out. I know she's married, so she probably wasn't. Yeah, but I, I mean, know. athletes aren't really loyal. I mean, think about it, like super famous, right? Like Chris Paul. Yeah, like CP, like super famous. Um, yep. Yeah, maybe like if you didn't want to probably maybe you don't want to drop the soap around her, you know? Like that. that I mean that's that's a realistic thing, right? Because I'm I'm looking at her. First of all, she, when that little video that came out when they did the prisoner swap, she didn't seem like crazy ecstatic. Maybe she kind of liked being in there, right? Because this is the most in her career she's been covered. Yeah. Imagine those ticket sales, the jersey sales that is going to come out of this. No one was talking about her unless she says something stupid when she said she could beat Demarcus Cousins. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I am going to watch her first game back. 100%. I've never watched a WNBA game. I've tried. I've never been able to watch it start to finish. I want to watch this. This is going to be monumental in the WNBA. And the only thing I can see comparing is the day they let the first ever transgender person play in the WNBA. Those are the two events I'll only watch. Otherwise, I don't give two shits. Here's a question. We live in Phoenix. Would you buy a ticket to her Absolutely. first game back? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think... You would? You would go? I honestly think those tickets are going to be like Chappelle ticket prices. Like, I think they're going to be the 200s. No. Dude, yes. Dude, where do they play? Uh, The Sun Stadium, probably. I don't know. There's no way they fucking play there, dude. One second. All right. Well, even if they play at the think, local YMCA... You think they're going to sell out a 20,000-seater? Yes. Dude, for her return, absolutely. There's twenty. Th- you think there's twenty thousand people who will pay to go see that shit? Yes, one hundred percent. I I would pay. Interesting. First of all, it's the arena's they put, close they to play us. At the Footprint Center. Yeah, they do play there. Wow. Um, dude, listen, listen to this. So you know the year that they, I don't know if they ended up winning at all, but they were like in first place and were like in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. They were, like, very good. Okay. So they were at, like, the height. I was probably, like, a senior in high school, and I was going to get the groceries, and I was leaving the fries, the fries grocery store. Mm-hmm. And outside, you know, there's always, like, Girl Scout cookies or, like, they want you to sign some shit for, like, a party or whatever. There are, like, these <laughs> – shit, you're not – there's, like, these six-foot-five ladies out there. And they are handing out tickets to the Mercury playoff game for free. It's a different scenario now, though. I'm not even kidding. I mean, and the the worst the worst part is nobody was taking it. Yeah, I mean, it's not like people are going to go out of their time, but like this is a huge fucking event. Like this is the American history game, you know. True, but like. You know what parking is like down there. Like I'll take the like, I'll take the light rail. You take the light rail, oh, dude. The light rail. I, it's sketchy, you know. I I know. Dude, I've seen clowns on the r- light rail before, but dude, I mean, I'm going to this game. Like uh, with the face paint and yeah, shit. Yeah, and this is right after the Joker movie when we went to go see the Suns and Clippers play. Yo. It was scary. Yeah, it was on my birthday, like two, three years ago, in college. Did he give you a birthday present? Did you tell him he would have performed for you if you told him it was your birthday? Dude, so there was two of them on the light rail. Me and my friends were in the back, and yeah. they got on. So we already got on, and at that point, they got on. They were just full clowns, and I was scared as shit. And I pointed at them. I was like, dude, look at, look at that shit. And, um, yeah, I think they got off pretty quick. But it was like I've, I've never seen some shit like that before. Right, I remember like years ago they had the. Do you remember Target clowns? Yeah. Do you remember when? Um, I think it was around the same time. I was in college, but like, 
It was all of the, like people would dress up as clowns and like do like crime and shit. Yeah, like go to Target and rob, right? Like the whole Target ro- uh, clown thing. Is that what it was? I think so, dude. This was like Target this clowns. Was when I was in high school. It was like right around Halloween. Yeah, I was in high school at this point. Yeah. Yeah, I was in like early college, and uh, I remember we got like a warning from the school. Like if like if you see someone dressed in a clown suit, like don't approach them. Like leave them alone. Uh, I was I, like, that's I wild. Would never mm-hmm. talk to any of those people. Uh, yeah, that's a little wild. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Back to BG. Let's let's actually go a little bit more of yeah. a serious and a political stance, right? Now, from my, I'm seeing a lot of people pissed off that we didn't get the war veteran. So just because I don't want to spread any misinformation, yeah. they were not going to give up the guy. Russia was not willing to trade him. Um, mm-hmm. So though it was a one for one, right? It was a player for player swap. Both uh, both unhappy with the situation, so they did that. Now, in terms of value for what Russia was receiving versus what we were receiving, nobody cared about the WNBA. And I'm not going to sit here and yeah. like say because if I was in her position, I would be incredibly grateful to you know be traded. But Brittany Griner now has to realize there's going to be a lot of people at her fucking neck, right? She can't say one bad thing yeah. about the country. She can't say anything bad because now she because th- first of all, now the brand deal she's going to be getting are is- outstanding, right? They Nike just dropped yeah. Kyrie. They are probably going to pick her up. We might see her, her own signature shoe. Yeah. She is now probably an A-list celebrity. Um, But everything she says now is going to be put under a microscope. Um, What what were your kind of thoughts on the trade? Uh, I don't think this fucking... I I forgot his name. Like, the machine of death or whatever the fuck his name. Like, what what do you think? Dirtbag, yeah. On a Um, political stance, not a funny stance. What's interesting to me is... I mean, there's a lot of ways to look at it, right? Like, obviously, the fact that she's locked up for for weed possession is is stupid. Mm -hmm. Like, it's also stupid to fucking bring it over, right? So, all jokes aside, I'm glad she's not in prison anymore. But also, the fact that Russia, like, wants an arms dealer back is weird. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're like, so we're like, hey, we, we want this chick back. And they're like, all right, give us, like, a war criminal. Like, that's who we want like repping us you know what i mean yeah it's gonna be that's fucking scary you know it's gonna be tough but they might actually want to do it for the first of all i think russia might be losing a fucking ukraine right i think they needed some dlc Uh, i think they needed a little dlc right they needed a little bit so now i think at this point uh for the white woman who's deciding what to put in their instagram bio you can't put free Mm britney griner and free ukraine at the same time you got to pick one of the two Right, because this trade is gonna help out Russia against Ukraine, so you gotta choose. Right, w- where are we going here? This is a more. This is a. Yeah. This is a white woman's worst nightmare. What are we doing? Um, I don't know. I feel like, listen, white chicks have been in a pickle ever since they, you know, as as Bill Burr said, they they put their Ugg booted boots and they stepped over the line of oppression. Yeah. Right. Like they've been in a pickle the whole time. They're a bunch of fucking hypocrites. Mm-hmm. We all know it. Yeah. Right. Like they have, they're, they're the least worried people in the world. They get all, they get all the fucking fraps and shit and they get to complain like white women are fine. Yeah. What I'm worried about, what I'm worried about is so like you mentioned, Brittany Griner is going to be back here and I guess I guess what I'm trying to say is like like you said she's going to be under a microscope and you're just going to see a lot of stupid shit being said by a lot of people, right? Like you're going to have people who are like you know, conservative like fucking, you know. They're going to do some nasty shit probably at these games, mm-hmm. right? Like they're going to pay for a ticket yeah. and do some dumb shit. And then you're going to have people on the left who do the same thing and it's just it's just another it's another useless talking point that doesn't move anything forward while the whole time the banks are just fucking stealing our money their fucking inflation's going up and it's just like this none of this shit actually matters you know what i mean like who cares yeah. she's back like she gets to live her life again fucking leave it alone mm-hmm. yeah let her scissor in peace man yeah 
yeah, let her scissor in peace. But it's like it's going to be a whole thing. And we're just going to keep talking about shit that doesn't matter as a country. The WNBA is drooling at this opportunity, though. They are drooling. They need. Yeah, they should. They be. need to make her the LeBron of the league, right? Just yeah, hundred. I'm. I'm gonna go watch. I, I. Okay, let's put an over under. How much do you think a ticket's gonna cost? Because I'm saying it's gonna be over one twenty five for the one game. Yeah. Her return game. It's. I think it's going to be as anticipated as LeBron's return to Cleveland. That's bananas. I, as a That's Laker, such a <laughs> as a game. Laker, I think this game is going to be highly anticipated. I'm not. No one's going to watch the game. It's just going to be a bunch of pissed off Republicans with their eyes, with their eyes looking the whole time, eyes wide open, saying, "This ungrateful bitch don't even love the country." Do you think do you think she continues to kneel for the anthem? And like you know, like or like sit it out. I don't know if she was kneeling, but she was like not participating. If I am her, absolutely. The clout would be You think you don't you just don't back down, just keep going. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I'm not someone who would kneel for the anthem personally. I I I, uh-huh. I, first of all, I don't really fucking care that much. Um, the, the, like, yeah. I think it's hypocritical when people complain about the kneeling for the anthem and stuff like that when they're fucking jerking off the fat white woman in American flag bikinis, right? Um, yeah. But this is an opportunity for her to build her brand, right? <laughs> and if she kneels, okay, if she kneels right after getting traded for a warms, dude, she's gonna be everywhere. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, oh. there's the there's the all all pub is good pub, right? And that's going to be some fucking publicity. Of like she's just like fuck it, like kneel kneel down, fist up, right? Like that's going to be people are going to get so pissed. She's going to get like like how much money did Kaepernick get from Nike? Like it's going to be on that level. Dude, we're talking Nike, fucking Chick Fil A might throw her a fucking deal, dude. We're talking everything. No, Ch- Chick Fil A is not. They're Chick-fil-A going a little woke, bro. They, they. Uh, I remember they turned the uh, LGBTQ Chick Fil A logo. I think for a little time, bro. I think she's gonna get an incredible wow. bag, dude. She is going to get a phenomenal they put a, bag. Chick Fil A put a rainbow in their logo. I think so. Let me see it. I remember I saw it on Twitter. That's wild, if true. Like a long time dude, ago, dude. You saw it on Twitter, yeah. so it's like fucking true. Yeah, dude. the the fact checkers didn't check that one, so it's probably true. Chick Chick Fil A rainbow logo. I'm not seeing anything. Here's why rainbow flags are going. Oh no, that's somebody else. Yeah, oh yeah, I fake pride that. Twitter. Yeah, I think you. Yeah. I I think you got honey dicked by Twitter. No, no, no. There is someone put up. So Chick Fil A, like the logo, like when it was like Gay Pride Month, they put up a rainbow one, mm-hmm. right? But that was just PR shit. Mm-hmm. Like the owners don't fucking care. Anyway, but back to the bag, yeah. right? This is, <laughs> this is what she got to do, bro. Kneel, and when they asked why she kneeled, said she's kneeling for the injustices in the American prison system regarding marijuana. That would be hilarious if she fuck talking about Russia. Talk about if yeah. she talks about we need to free all the people. Uh, first of all, I agree with that. I think we anyone who gets caught with weed, right, should be fucking free from prison. Yeah, but that just be so funny. <laughs> I just think that'd be hilarious. It would be. I mean, it would be. Yeah, it'd, it'd be that'd be really good, and it's. Yeah, dude this this whole thing has so much potential, and I just really hope she brings it home yeah. and just like continues because it's it's really fun <laughs> like it's i'm glad she's back now like let's let's milk this for everything you know what i mean w- watch her come up because that's just watch her like start becoming hella or is she can do a 180 go completely far right and start pulling a kanye and just start saying like start hanging out with nick fuentes and all of them what if like she's or this what if um She's like a fucking sleeper agent now, like for the KGB. You know what I'm saying? Like how they did in the Cold War. Hmm. Like what if what if now she's like just been brainwashed for because she's been over there for like a year, right? Nah, it has to be less. When did she get caught? Let's see. I think it's been a long time, dude. How long was Britney?
10 months. Okay, about a year, yeah. Ten mo- okay, that's a yeah. long time. So what if they've just been brainwashing her for the last year and, like, they win the WNBA championship or whatever and they get to go meet the president, go to the White House, and then, like, someone says the code phrase and she just chokes out the president? <laughs> That'd be pretty interesting. That'd be actually kind of interesting. I mean, I don't think Biden would know what's happening. It's a real, it's a real, it's a real concern. Do you think Biden would be able to fight back? I don't think they want to. I think they'd wait till the next one, whoever it's going to be. I think they like. I think Russia enjoys having having Biden in office. I really do. Yeah, I mean, I think any country that doesn't like us likes having Biden in office. So. Yeah, yeah. Although, do you do you think he's even like? Like, do you think? Do you think when they go to like negotiate with other countries, like so they fly him there, right? Obviously. But then do you think, like, the people who actually run shit walk in the room with him and they're like, all right, you know, just go sit over there. Like, the adults are talking now. And he just, like, plays with chains <laughs> or something? You know how, like... Uh... Or do you think do you think he's actually still negotiating on our behalf? Because I don't know which is more depressing. Have you seen that interview with, like, Hasbulla and Elk? And they had, like, the translator for Hasbulla. So I no. think they just have, like... I think, like, they'll have Biden just kind of sit there for the cameras, right? And then it'll just be mm-hmm. a translator. like Or, like, at the end of a UFC thing, when the guy doesn't speak English, they ask a translator. I think it's yeah. the same thing. I yeah. think I think the translator, I, like, I don't think, Biden's not actually negotiating no deals. The dude's, the dude's too stupid, right? He's, like, maybe he has a caretaker. Like, you know how, like, a lot of people, like, a lot of people, in, if you, when you're in high school, you know, the kids, um, who with down syndrome or with special needs they had like a caretaker like individually i think you might have the same thing and i think the caretaker trent i think i think it goes like this biden says his mumbo jumbo that gets to the caretaker Mm -hmm. and then the caretaker has like an actual like a politician right and then yeah which is probably just a donor so the donor goes to so i think it goes like this biden uh special needs caretaker to some politician on his team, and then the politician tells it to the donor, and then the donor goes back. So it's like, uh, you know that game when you would, like whisper in your ear, like whisper in one person's ear, and at the end you have to say like what they said or something like that? Yeah, telephone. telephone. So I think it's like <clears throat> telephone, right? Interesting. Well, so my thing with Biden is like, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a super fan, right? But like, I don't know. The guy's been a public servant like his entire life. Like, just let him fucking go retire. I don't know. Is it like, do you think like, what do you think they have on his family that like they were like, yeah, Joe, you should run for president? Because like, there's no way his family is like, wow, dad, like you should really go and fucking keep doing this. You have fucking Alzheimer's. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know why there's even talks of him. Cause like we know they we know they got shit on Hunter, right? Yeah, like that's laptop. that's a given. But um, like, what do they have on his wife? You know what I mean? Because like every time his wife is up there standing with him, and he's just like mumbling, and it's it sucks to watch. It really does. Like, and she's just sitting there like with that smile on her face, right? Like, oh, this is all like good, and normal. It's like you don't <laughs> think that. Come on, you've been married to this guy forever. Like you're watching him do this shit. Like help him out, get him out yeah. of there. I mean, first of all, they whoever first of all, he's he's struggling to read a teleprompter at this point. Um, it's a it's very tough. I I just think first of all, like it wasn't tough to beat Trump with how things ended in twenty twenty, right? I think like with COVID and then uh, everything that happened around George Floyd, I think it wasn't like a hard use case. Um, but Biden <clears throat> has like all you were had to do was like giving a like a plate of shit and just clean the plate and Biden has somehow added more types of shit to it. Right. Um, I think he's bombed Syria. So he can put some, he's probably, he's bombed like some country in the middle East. So he can put some middle Eastern shit in there. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, Ukraine happened, put some Russian shit in there. Just a whole bunch of shit. Just, just smother. Like it's, it's, it's been embarrassing. I don't know why he's, why he's still president. I don't, I, First of all, people. I think also Kamala Harris is so unpopular as well. I people don't want to see her become the president. So I think my next guess yeah. uh, for the bid would be 
probably they're going to get some new Democrat, and then the Republican Party is going to go DeSantis, Kanye West, or Trump. I think, I think, yeah. I mean, I'm not a fucking. I don't. Fuck Neither do I. I don't. I'm not I, a don't I don't. I don't care. But I think, uh, I think Trump's probably going to be the guy again, which I'm not too stoked yeah, about. I mean, like I was. I remember um, when he was running, and uh, he started talking shit about John McCain, and he was like, he's like, oh, this guy's a fucking soft bitch because he got caught because he was like a he was a prisoner of war for like years mm-hmm. in Vietnam, like survived that. And Trump's like, yeah, this guy sucks. Like, I want the people who don't get caught in my fucking army and shit. And I was in a foreign country mm-hmm. at the time, and, like, it was so fucking embarrassing. Like, it's like, oh, I'm from America. And they're like, oh, this guy's talking shit about your, your fucking veterans. Like, your, your Purple Heart winners. It's like, Jesus Christ. It was so embarrassing to be, like. Yeah, and it's what. Just shit and on And it's legit that. why I think. Like, I know Kanye has been going on that crazy rants and stuff, but I think there's people yeah. stupid enough to actually vote for him. At this point, I think there's... To vote yeah. for Kanye? Because I think all the crazy college recruiters, like the Christian college recruiters, because all this dude has been talking about is Christianity and Jews, right? Uh, he's not going to get the yeah. Jews' votes. We know that. That's out the window. But he's no. going to get a good majority of the African-American population. He's probably yeah. going to get... Um, uh, like the racist people now and the super diehard Christians. Mm-hmm. That's a pretty big chunk of the country. I think, is he actually running? Like, is he allowed to? He can, he can probably run. I mean, I don't think he's going to run as Republican. I think he might go as a uh, independent, but... There's no way a party backs nah, him. There's but, no fucking way. I don't know, bro, but just like off the sheer strength of his... Cl- I mean, the, I don't think Republicans backed Trump when he first ran, right? He can run as a thing but like i think off this sheer just clout mm. dude we're in the new age of politics trump won like this dude was a uh, fucking porn stars and was on a reality tv i think kanye ta- kanye has yeah. significant more clout not anymore but at one point before they both if you're looking pre-trump before he decides to run versus kanye before he decides to run yeah kanye has significantly more clout significant yeah well, what's, what Trump has done is open the floodgates for this kind of bullshit, right? Because now Kanye is like, I'm going to be the fucking president. And then, like, I remember, I don't think this is a thing as much anymore, but, like, a few years ago, people were, like, legitimately talking about Dwayne The Rock Johnson, like, as a good candidate. They're like, oh, I would really, like, support this guy. Like, he seems like a good dude. It's like he's a fucking pro wrestler. You've had, I've heard him. I've heard LeBron. I've heard... Um LeBron, dude, LeBron would, I would fucking move. I'd go to Ireland. I'd go anywhere else. Well, give me, why, bro? If LeBron is the president, because LeBron is, he didn't fucking go to college. <laughs> dude, that's so funny. He's not, he's. Yeah, right? I feel that. Like, isn't that a requirement? Do, do, you have to, do you have to go to college to be the president? I hope to God you do. Jesus Christ, fucking if dude, if LeBron's the president, that's like that's the end. That's the that's the herald of the end times. You know what I mean? Can you that's imagine like, his, uh, his press conference? He's like, he's like, I knew Russia was gonna go declare war on Ukraine. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I he's like, I I knew I knew when I was ten years old. I said I'm gonna be the president of the United States. Uh, dude, dude, that'd be bro. LeBron might be the perfect politician because he's so good at lying. Yeah. I mean, he would fit right the fuck in. He'd be at home with all those snakes. <laughs> He'd be a phenomenal. I'm like, fuck him, bro. Incredible basketball career, right? Uh, incredible liar. He's a char- he's, he's, he has charisma. You can't deny that, right? I think he'd be fucking. I think he'd. Be, I think he'd fit right in. Honestly, I think it'd be hilarious. He doesn't have charisma. He's king dude. Ta- he can he can talk have, well. Did you see space? He can talk well. Did you see Space Jam too? He doesn't have charisma. <laughs> okay. He doesn't know. He doesn't. <laughs> All right, but I think I think he could do a decent job. I mean, he's not going to be doing any policy. Listen. All he has to do. Is, listen, the president now. Biden has proved this. All you have to do to be president is go on a stage and talk. If you could do that properly, it doesn't matter because it's the donors and the other politicians taking care of all the legislation, right? LeBron would be fucking phenomenal at lying. 
he's top three greatest liars of all time. We got LeBron, the game. Um, who else is a who else is a great liar? I don't know. <laughs> Kanye now he might be lying a lot. Who knows, bro? But shit, <laughs> that'd be hilarious. I wouldn't mind, bro. It might. It wouldn't be, dude. I would bail. I'd be the fuck. I want to be a part of it. You know, I love. Listen, listen. I love living in America. It's like, and I'm not saying this like in some like her. You know what I mean? Like some fucking redneck fashion. But like, I think it's the best country in the world. I fucking love living yeah. here. Like, it's awesome. People like die trying to get in here all the time. Like, it's really mm-hmm. cool. If LeBron becomes the president, I am fucking leaving. It's that's We're, the end. Like that's. Where, 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 where's your first choice? That's it. I don't know, dude. That's a great question. I'm not going. You go Canada. I can't, you can't really stay on the con. No, Canada's communist <laughs> as fuck. Canada's fucked. Um, you can't stay on the continent, and then Europe. <sighs> I don't know. I, do, I, I think Europe, Australia would be really nice. I should probably choose Australia. See, I would say Australia until they like beat old ladies for going outside during COVID. That was kind of weird. Really? I did not know that. Yeah. Yeah. Their police like beat the shit out of people. It was really, they how were about crazy. Sa- how about they South were like Africa? China, just like you wouldn't expect it. Wow. How about South Africa? Um, I don't know a lot about South Africa. I know they used to have like, um, Apartheid. That's probably not. Yeah, probably not, not there then. Uh, hmm. Singapore, man. Nah, Singapore is super strict. They're also like really fucking. Like you can't like spit gum there, or you get arrested. I would think probably London would be the easiest place to transition um, into. See, I'm not a fan of the British, though. Like I don't get why they just like they still have a fucking royal family. It's weird. Ain't that bitch die? The queen, yeah. So she's then dead. it's then who's the? I, you you know where I would go is Ireland because like they when when the queen died there was like videos of people in Ireland like dancing on the streets like shooting guns into the air and shit like that's that's kind of what I'm going for. That's where I would go is Ireland probably. Yeah, how about? I've been there before. I liked it when I was there. I was, it was fun to visit. I think I'd try that out. I don't know if it would work long term, but I'd try that. As if LeBron leaves, I'm going to Ireland. Ireland. It's it's on record. If I, I had to, to leave, it. see, I, I'd feel. See, if like something like Steph Curry became president, I'd fucking dip the country too. So I'd probably pick. Yeah, same thing. Like it's, I think I mean, LeBron would be better than Steph. I, like I, Steph I, just bothers me. Steph at least went to college. Did he? He has a degree. Did he have a degree? I don't think he finished college. I think he did because he went to like Davidson and like wasn't really noticed until later. Uh, he had to have like a growth spurt. You know what I mean? Because he's a tiny maybe, guy. Yeah. All right. Uh, maybe he only went three years, but I think he like went back and graduated. I think he's got oh, a yeah. degree. Even even if he doesn't, he's got like three more years of college than LeBron does. That is true. Uh, you know. Well, okay. If you had to pick a place in Asia to stay at, like, would you live in China? No, India, absolutely not. That's a that's a horrible idea. Yeah, I mean, where the fuck in Asia do you want to stay at? <laughs> like, where the fuck do you want to like? You don't want to be in the, probably if you nowhere. Had to pick, maybe Dubai. I Dubai probably. Um, well, I, I've heard I've heard Japan's oh, I, cool. I, I made Japan. Is, yeah, well, Dubai is like I lived in Dubai for a month. It's yeah, like, I think Japan like Dubai is pretty fucking corrupt. I think, yeah, I lived right? there for two months. It gets so boring. Like, all, like they get all their money and shit. Yeah, every, everywhere's everywhere's Dubai? corrupt. Yeah, I lived there because my aunt was there, so I stayed with her for like a summer. So I was like there for two months. Yeah, right, it gets so boring after a minute. Like there's no culture there. Like everyone just goes and shops. That's the culture. So yeah. like, and I was not like filthy fucking rich, yeah. so I couldn't. You know, do nothing. Um, no. Yeah, I lived in India for a year. That shit sucked. One place was garbage. Yeah, isn't there like people like pooping on the side of the road? And I stuff? remember one time I uh, went out of my apartment. So we had two balconies. We had one connected to the master bedroom, right? It was like one's like little square, small ones, right? If you just need to get a little quick breath, and we had the big main one. So the little small one, it. The view, it was in a good view. It just went to, like, a construction area. 
and um yeah yeah it was uh i remember there was a guy just taking a shit you know hole no no toilet paper i don't think he wiped yeah um yeah, it's yeah crazy. a lot of stray dogs it's is what's crazy what's crazy is that shit happens like on a daily basis like there's like abject poverty like in india there's like a billion people and like 99 percent of them having a rough time in china there's like a lot of people having a rough time right but then white women in america still find a way to complain that's yeah kind of grinds my yeah gears. and it's yeah, you know, I mean? you, you know, here here's a difference between, like, I understand. I think I think everyone understands there is child labor that goes into sweaters, that there is child labor that goes into kind of all of our clothes. But the difference is, I'm not a hypocrite. If a kid yeah. made a sweater right in front of me, like he hand stitched it, there yep. was I like I saw the intense process. I would still pay him thirty dollars for the sweater. Yep. I don't care, right? I know it's. Yep. The, the only difference is that I'm actually it'd be cheaper because I'm not paying for a fucking FedEx shipping across the country, across the globe, right? The white woman would yeah. go on Twitter, complain about, hey, this is so corrupt, unjust, and that she's going on a shopping spree every Tuesday. Um, no moral high ground. I'm okay with it. I like cheap clothes. I wish it didn't happen. I wish just fucking robots automated the whole entire thing, right? I'd prefer that. Uh, but at the end of the day, I would, st- if a kid lived in my apartment and I used, and I would ask him, Hey, I'll make you, can you make me a sweater for $30? And it came out like a Nike tech. I would do it. I, I would not care. Right. Um, would I ever run a business like that? No. Right. But I understand the reality of the situation. Uh, how about you? So my thing is like, it's not only the people who are like, man, fucking, this is bullshit in America. Like these people won't wear a fucking mask or I'm told I have to wear a fucking mask. Right. Like either side, it's like, you're complaining about the smallest shit. Whereas globally, you know, like if you live in America, like globally, you're probably in the top 1% of people like by just by Mm -hmm. being here. You know what I mean? In terms of just like luck, you know, like a homeless guy in America has it better than a lot of like I when I lived in California, there was a homeless homeless like camp that one of the guys had solar panels. He had fucking solar panels on his tent. Like that's pretty bitching. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, But then there's like all this shit, but people are fucking complaining here. And then it's not only that, but like you're talking about it's like the companies. Right. So like fucking Apple is like they like put the you know, we were talking about like the the rainbow logos. Right. Like, we stand for this, we stand for that. Um, But then, like, they just sell all their shit to China and then also, like, have, you know, warehouses where they make these phones and shit where there's literally, like, suicide nets coming out the side so people don't kill themselves, right? Like, because working there sucks so bad and they get paid so little. And they're just like, yeah, you know, I think Apple, like, just finally moved like production mm-hmm. to the U.S. or at least some of it because of it uh, some legislation that Trump had that required them to like make like these chip companies in the United States. Real? Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. It was the chips. Okay. Uh, so see, what's funny about that is they I saw it like from an Apple press release and they were like, "We're we're doing this, like we're doing the right thing." But you're saying they're being forced. I to think. Do it. Don't fact check me on that, but I saw it somewhere that was because of some legislation. That wouldn't surprise me. Do you do? Because like, why yeah, would you do it? You they don't I mean? fucking care. Just two dollars an hour versus yeah. thirty dollars an okay. hour. Like, obviously, they don't want to do it. It's just. I mean, that company was founded on the idea of screwing people over. Like, they screwed over that Wozniak guy so hard. Yeah, I mean, I think every big tech company, Jack Dorsey, screwed over somebody. Face Mark Zuck. I, I hate Mark Zuckerberg the most. He screwed over uh, those twins, the guy he started doing business with. Uh, he screwed over everybody. Andrew Garfield, dude. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, in the movie. Um, in the movie, yeah. That movie's so yeah, good. Yeah, it was a phenomenal movie. Um, Such a good movie. Yeah, I mean, I think all of them were just kind of immoral pricks. I don't I don't view any of them. I, I mean, I'm like any, aside from Elon, here's the thing I like about Elon, right? At least he's honest with everything. Like, he'll mm-hmm. just... 
come out and say something the way shit is. If he fucks up, he say he says it, and that's why I'm like a fan of the guy. Yeah. Right. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, with him, I don't know if he's telling the truth all the time, but what I do know, it seems like he's trying. You know what I mean? It seems like he's trying. Like, if I was, I don't know, if I had that much money, I wouldn't be buying Twitter for way more than it's worth and, like, staying up all night trying to fix it. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be on a fucking yacht somewhere. Yeah, agreed. Doing doing the Bezos. How how many people... Yeah, I'd be. I, exactly. How many people do you think like Jeff exactly. Bezos has like been responsible for the death of like a ballpark number? <sighs> think about it. A lot of wholesome. Like, what do you mean responsible? So, do you think like he ordered the hit? Do you think he had to kill him with his bare hands? Do you think like indirectly, indirect. so like he just owns indirect. Amazon and someone died like while working at Amazon? Yeah, indirect. I would say probably, I don't know. Give me an over under. A thousand. A thou- I'd say probably less than. 500. I'd take the under. I'd take yeah. the over. I think that's the range. 500 to a yeah. thousand. You know, like they have, do they, I mean, cause those fulfillment centers like in the, in the third world are probably rough. Oh to work at, yeah. You know what I mean? It's they, it, I mean, first, like the ones here. Yeah, stay. I mean, the thing about in India, you can't drive because of the traffic is so bad, right? It's so hot there. There's no, mm-hmm. they're probably running door to door to deliver those packages on time. They don't have car, like they're yeah. or they're on a scooter with like fifty packages on their back. It's it's a tough scene, man. Just like dying from the yeah, heat. And, uh, it's more so the air like quality. They did. That's also true. Yeah. Is that... I know China's air quality sucks. Is it the same in India? Yeah. Uh, it might be worse. Yeah. 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 Um, all right. Let's uh, move on to the next thing. Uh, there was a trailer for that basketball movie. Do you want to describe that? Um, I don't remember what, you were ta- what it was. I know you wanted to talk about it. Let's hear it. Yeah, dude. So um, have you seen the Shane Gillis bit where he talks about coaching a uh, Special Olympics basketball no, team? No, I've not seen that. It's a good one. So he talks – he's like – he coached one of them, and it, it's definitely worth a listen. Um, I won't spoil it here, but it's, it's a good bit. But I saw a trailer for a movie, and I literally think they stole his fucking idea. Like Woody Harrelson is going to go coach Special Olympics kids. Um in a in a basketball movie, and I think they stole the idea from Shane Gillis A, which is he better get a cut of that um, because it's a hilarious idea. Um, and then second of all, it seems like a risky movie to make. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I haven't seen the trailer. Are we talking like disability in the sense of like missing a leg, like Paralympics, or like special like? special more of the special side and it looks like all the actors are um authentically casted <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right so it's a re- hollywood representation so they, w- they won't ru- yeah they won't run into problems there i think but it should be interesting you know what i mean i'm gonna see the shit out of it i think um i like woody harrelson i think he's a funny guy but uh i don't know it, it's it gives me like the it gives me like a Hoosiers vibe, just like Special Olympics. You know what I mean? Like it's supposed to be inspirational, <laughs> is what the trailer was going for. You know, uh, like he's I, he's an NBA coach. I think he gets caught like doing like a DUI or something. The the character, and then they're like, as punishment, you have to coach Special Olympics kids, which is kind of yeah, fucked up. That's, that's uh, unfortunate. They're like, hey. It's it's like it's like you want to go to jail, or coach Special Olympics kids like they're comparable, right? That's a that's a fucked up thing that we do, as a country. You know, we're like everyone's equal, but hanging out with them is what you get for doing illegal shit. Do you think you know how the what is it called the Oscars the that award show I, I, Oscars or Grammys I don't remember I don't watch that but the ones that did like the movies mm-hmm. and shit. 
um, you know how they have like those new that's that's Oscars. So you know how they have like those new deadlines. Like you have to have like twenty percent like gay people, like twenty percent like black people, or something like that to be nominated now. Do you see that thing? Is that yeah, a thing? Yeah, I think really. They have like really thresholds? recently. I think they have like a new threshold for like representation. Wow. Do you think this is just like uh the kind of like a freebie? Like you know, here's it's like Well yeah, like like how stingy are they with it, right? Cuz it's like if you make a movie, literally literally over half the cast is going to be have some sort of disability, I think. Like but what if none of them are black, right? Do they get a do they get the opportunity to get nominated? I feel like they should. Yeah, I think uh, here, but, let me you know, what what would LeBron <laughs> say as president, right? Well, if know. they win the nomination, like I knew they were going to win it from the second I saw the movie. Yeah, he well he he already has it planned yeah. out, right? Also, we'll get back to the to the movie, but real quick, LeBron is also a hypocrite with all the China <laughs> shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Like like so, so he's like, no, 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 because he's like, he's like, oh, like, ask me about Jerry Jones, right? Like, mm-hmm. a, like, why don't you guys ask me, you ask me about Kyrie, but ask me about Jerry Jones. It's like, yeah, we could also ask you about fucking China and Nike, who you take all this money from, but we don't, because we're not dicks, all right? Uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> well, that came out of left, Anyways, <laughs> left but, field, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got a bone to pick with LeBron, dude. But anyways, back to the movie. Um let me see what the rules are. Hold on. Let me go. Yeah. Them. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, was well, that, I don't know. Is cause that's, it's kind of like the Rooney rule in, um, in coaching, right? Like in the, you, you know what that is in the NFL? Uh, no. Oh, the coaching thing. Yeah, so yeah. it's like you, you get, get a pick if you have a, yeah. yeah, you get like draft picks for hiring minority coaches. And I think they changed it recently to like, if you get one, if you have one on your staff that gets hired, which mm-hmm. makes more sense, um, right? But I don't know. I think those rules have the right spirit, maybe. But it's like I've never seen a situation where like people throw a bunch of rules at something and it works out the way it's supposed to. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Okay. Here, here, here. So I got the rules. All right. So at least one actor from an underrepresented racial or ethnic group must be cast in a significant role, okay? The story must be centered on women, LGBTQ people, a racial or ethnic group, or the disabled. All right? Okay. So they're... They're gunning for award season right This is exactly... That's what they're... Like, hey, let's go win a fucking Oscar. This is... So with all those, it's an or. So it's this or this yeah, and then with the or last this. One is at least 30% of the cast must be actors from at least two of those four underrepresented categories. So they are okay. really pushing for an Oscar. That's what it is. First of all, I don't know people who even watched Oscars. I don't think people care anymore. Um, but I guess this is what I guess this is what these yeah. douchebags in Hollywood like, right? Um they want to get yeah, change, that no right? one's going to listen to. Well, they want to talk about climate change and then go on a fucking plane, uh, like a private yeah. plane in 30 minutes. So that it's it's a ton of bullshit. Um, but uh, that's what it is. Um, yeah, I don't know. Has, that That's kind of stupid in my opinion. So re- read those rules okay. one more time. Okay. Sorry. One actor from under... Because I'm trying to One think of movie. from underrepresented yeah. racial or ethnic group. The story must center on women LGBTQ. Wait, so it just the movie just has to have one actor? Yes. In a significant role. In a big role. Okay. In a signif- okay. The story must, must center on Continue. women LGBTQ people, a racial or ethnic group, or the disabled. So it has to, or mm-hmm. it can focus on them. Or thirty percent of the cast must be okay. actors from at least two of those four underrepresented categories, and those two categories are LGBTQ, racial, ethnic, or disabled. So, right now, it seems like they have okay. special ed, right? So, but where's the other group from? Where's the other group? Does it? Well, it's the, the the third rule. I think this one, this movie fulfills it, but, right? Because but they need two groups, disabled. not just one. You need to have need two. To have so two are, are we making some of them gay? 
Well, 30 percent of the cast is going to be disabled at least. Let's assume it's not. Well, don't they need another? Well, let's say they want they're gunning for the Oscar. This is clearly an Oscar gunning move, right? Who? What are they? What are they doing for that last thing? Are we making some of them gay? They like playing with balls on and off the court. What are we doing here? Well, part of the Shane Gillis bit is that he's like all he calls them my guys because he's like the people he he's like these are my guys, right? And he's like my guys love titties, like Straight. they love titties. Are they? He says. He says they love two things, titties and John Cena. Hmm. Okay, what was the name of the movie? I'm going to see if I can share it on the... But so under those rules, like, so if I were to make, or if, I mean, I would never, I'm not fucking, but if Quentin Tarantino makes Inglorious Bastards today, right? I don't think that follows any of the rules, but that's like, that's an Oscar yeah, movie. Batman doesn't you know follow I mean? those rules either. So does he... The Dark Knight, I don't think it follows those rules either. Yeah. Yeah, like that's exactly like so. Does Heath Ledger not get an Oscar because they mm-hmm. didn't like shoehorn in? You got to start putting in some. You got to make Batman bisexual if you want an Oscar. You got to make him bisexual. Him and Wayne are really or who him and. Was well, that is that why is that why Catwoman is a lesbian in the new one? Yeah, I think they might. What what are what are some ones you actually kind of want to see? Like I, I would want to see homosexual Hulk. I think that'd be hilarious. I think I would be. I uh, think that'd be fucking funny. That's the, that's a terrible <laughs> homosexual image. Hulk. Like I'm, dude, that'd be I'm, hilarious. Are you kidding me? I'm in fear. Right I think now. that'd be a hilarious movie. What if he is, al- dude? What if he is already? Oh, that's a gay guy's dream, bro. You know, and that's and that's why he's so angry. Like he can't, like he feels like he can't talk about it. That might be a good plot, Hulk. Hulk, it's come Hulk, out of the it's closet, okay, dude. Yeah, and, you know, like how in the Avengers, like he like gets control mm-hmm. of it. You know what I mean? Maybe he. What if like he's like finally okay with it, right? Like, yeah, those shirts he was cool. wearing were a little bit tight, a little bit skinny on the jeans. And they always came yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they were tore off. off. He didn't unbutton it properly. He tore them off, right? A little bit. Maybe Hulk is bisexual. Yeah, I mean, maybe he's just gay, and it's okay. I don't, I don't mind it. Maybe. But they, I think they should make. I think a homosexual Hulk would be funny. Doesn't he like? Uh, doesn't he like Scarlett Johansson in the movies, though? I mean, listen. Like, if I was gay, I think I'd still be. Attracted maybe he's just uh, like, uh, what's the word? Like a disguise, almost, right? Like he. Yeah, his cover. He's like, oh yeah, yeah. She's she's hot, and he's really staring at Captain America's ass. I think if anyone's gay in the Marvel movies, it's probably. Um, I'd, I'd lean more Captain America, honestly. Even though he has, doesn't he go back in time? He is. Like, I'm not super. I know he goes back in time to be with that chick, though. Yeah, so nah. I think it's Hulk. I think Hulk is a homosexual. I think he might be gay. Might be right, yeah. dude. And he's always like running, you know. Like they have to like find him a bunch. Yeah, of Yeah, maybe he's maybe he's just like at one of those he's gay like clubs, yeah. just chilling there, seeing what's up. Who wants to, like imagine like if you're a gay guy, right? Like, rocks the the Hulk's dick's probably like really big and hard. Like that's a gay guy's dream. Is it though? Might be. I mean, I don't know. Like, let, here's a question, right? Like, if I was gay, I would not have the confidence to date a guy with a bigger piece than mine. Not happening. I would need. I would need to have the bigger, the bigger schlong. So you're <clears throat> like, if I didn't, I'd be very upset so, with myself all the time. So I'd you like wouldn't be a bottom then? Is what you're telling me? I I don't think I'd be able to I do that shit. Not necess- not not necessarily. I mean, I don't know. I don't know because I I don't, I don't know. But I just know my ego would be severely wounded by having. It's like all right, there's two people, they're together, and I have the smaller wing. Like I can't. That would, yeah. That'd be like a. But if it's Hulk though, me. right? Like it's kind of expected. Like if it was if it was Hulk, ended up having the smaller thing, right? You yeah. know, like, so if if Hulk if Hulk was smaller than me, 
I would, I'd go on a few dates. I'd see how it goes for sure. I'm not like committing. Yeah. Anything. But I mean, if it's Hulk, if, if, if Hulk is bigger, right. Yeah, he's got some anger issues. Like, I don't want to get beat. But I mean, you know what I mean? But we've established that he has anger issues because he's in the closet and he's not been able to express himself freely. Yeah, and that sounds like a whole bunch of work, like to to hang out with that guy all the time. You know what I mean? Like, I'd have to pretend it's like, oh, yeah, we're buddies. You know what I mean? Like, that doesn't sound fun. I would want to just, like, tell people, like, hey, this is my boyfriend, the Hulk. Like, I think that would be exhausting. Yeah, Hulk is not on my – Hulk's not on my gay list for sure. Like, I would not. So, all right, who who might be in the Marvel – do you think Thanos might be a little gay? You don't think, no. Um, can be. Um, I think he's just asexual. Like, I think he doesn't give a fuck. He just wants to – Well, he said he wants to get rid of 50% of the population, right? Is it just the chicks? <laughs> yeah, I think All maybe he just wants a hammer fest, bro. Did he get rid of the Hulk? <laughs> Did he get rid do of the Hulk think, when he snapped? Do you think we'd still have war? Did, yeah, that's a good question. Do you think we'd still have war if, like, he snapped and just all the women went away? Uh... Because they say that about men, right? They're like women are like, man, all like who starts all the wars? Men, right? But it's like, why do we start them? Mm, maybe I don't know. It's it's just a dick swinging yeah. contest, right? And it's like, why would you swing your dick Impressed around? Like you're trying yeah. to you're trying to fucking get in some yeah. broad's pants, right? Like Putin is literally just like trying to impress some bitch right now. He's like, listen, I just took over the Ukraine, like how fucking sick yeah. is that you know what i mean okay, i'm actually fascinated Dude, i maybe thor is I, okay i think this maybe i think hulk is bisexual but i think Don, thanos is gay thor might be gay oh yeah he's always talking about swinging his hammer and he i don't think he has any well no there's he has the girlfriend earlier right i didn't I see the newest i don't know i don't really watch do they do they get back together i heard they don't get back together though and it might be because of his you know, I don't know. I, I still think he Hulk is gay. probably the only gay one. I I could like to fit it. Like, when have you ever heard Hulk talk about some bitches? You know what I mean? Like, I've never heard that. Well, he has the thing. I think he wants to bang Scarlett Johansson the whole time, and they like they never they never do it because she dies. Okay, so okay, maybe Thanos is gay then. Fifty percent, all the women. I think they both have a realistic shot. I really do. That I just there's some there's some yeah. hoops you got to jump through. I mean, I'm open for whatever. If Hulk's I gay, um, I see. I would not see. Like I said, I would not date the Hulk. I think that would be tough. But Thanos, like you would literally have to do nothing for the rest of your life. Like he would just get shit done. He'd get the groceries. He'd pay the bills. Like you could just literally sit on your fucking ass the rest of your life. Like I'd be down mm. for that. Like, he would take care of you. You know what I mean? He seems like a go That is true. Yeah, bag chaser for sure. I mean, dude, the dude went through everything to try to fucking eradicate all the women. So, yeah, I, 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 can, I can rock with that for sure. Yeah. So, I'd, I would date. I would not date Hulk. I would date Thanos. That's that's how. Yeah. That's how that's how I shake out there. Yeah. What a what a fucking uh, combo. Um we're almost at an hour. Want to wrap this up? Well, we got to talk about um, yeah, one more Qatar. Yeah. Dude. Oh yeah. Let's let's move on to that. Actually, um, so for those who don't know, uh, rest in peace. Uh, there was a very famous uh, soccer writer in ESPN. He was also kind of talking about um, if, if you can say his name. I, I honestly just forgot. Yeah, Grant, Grant Wall. Wall rest in name. peace to him. Grant Wall. He was a very famous soccer writer for ESPN. He went to Qatar to cover. He wore a rainbow shirt, and he pretty much said he got. They pretty much are saying he died from bronchitis. But we all know Qatar, uh, them being who they are, um, probably fucking murked him, and it's very unfortunate. Uh, I hope they get an autopsy on his body quickly, and I hope the United States puts pressure to really investigate into what happened. Um, 
I'm not going to make, we're not going to make any jokes about his death per se. Um, I think it's, you know, he died yesterday uh, as of when we're recording this. Um, very sad, but let's just make a conspiracy. Th- I, I, I 100% think this is like Qatar did it. I, I think he they wore the rainbow shirt. I well, think that's it. Yeah, let's well, let's look at the facts, right? Not only did he, so he, he, like you're referring to, he wore a shirt with a rainbow on it, and they wouldn't let him in the stadium. And he was actually detained for a short time. I don't know how long, but he was detained for like disturbing the peace while he was trying to get in the stadium with that shirt on, right? So he's on there, he's on their radar, and then, um, additionally, he's done a lot of like really cool because like FIFA is corrupt as fuck, right? And he's done a lot of really good reporting on like how it's corrupt and why it's corrupt and like what specifically they're doing that's fucked up. And you know they're not happy about that, right? So he's probably already on a bunch of people's shit list, right? And then he gets sick. He go, he checks himself into a clinic. Um, and just and then like he's like blogging he's like i'm on the mend still don't feel great like they're saying i have bronchitis and then he's just gone right and his family like i think his brother said um he suspects foul play just because of you know everything that's been happening with him and um sort of like prior history and the fact that like qatar is corrupt as fuck as well um and there's just it's i don't know and it's it's it really sucks, and it sucks also that it's around like the sport of soccer, like because it's really fucking boring to watch, and it's I don't understand why all these people have to die for soccer. Because not he's not the only one, right? Like a lot of people have died to mm-hmm. make this thing happen, and it's it, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, as all well, it's like I said, this is why you don't trust corporations uh, with issues about morality. Because uh, they don't give two shits. That at the end of the day, all they care about is the bottom line. Uh, he got killed. Uh, I think they put something. They gave him bronchi. They gave him something. And I am not kidding. Hopefully, this shit they gave him wasn't like another fucking COVID, um, where it's like they realize it's going to spread to way more people. Um, keep. I think mm-hmm. they probably put something in him, and I think he got sick and he died, and they just labeled it as bronchitis. They murked him. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it 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 makes sense. Like, you know, you go to a foreign country. Like, I mean, you go to Mexico, right? You you drink the water. You get like Montezuma's revenge, right? It makes sense that you go to a foreign country. It's like halfway across the world. Like, it makes sense that he would get some sort of bug, right? Like, that's not unheard of, right? But the fact that I don't know, I've never heard of anyone, especially a fit young male. You know, like he takes care of himself. You, you can tell just like from photos and things, like you know, hardworking guy, like, you know, just has a lot of, like, you know, seems like a healthy dude, right? Um, you don't see them dying of bronchitis. Like, bronchitis is just like a, it's like a cough that's progressed for a while. So that's kind of silly. I don't know. It's it's a weird, it's really, a, yeah, I think, um, I mean, they definitely, there's definitely, I, so, I mean, maybe he gets in the clinic and then they give him something or, I mean, it's crazy to think that uh, they murdered a, um, what's the word, like a foreign, a foreign member of the press. Like, that's bananas, I think. But it might be true. I mean, because these, I don't know. And like a lot of these countries that are run by like... Um, these these dictators, right? Like, I think they just are used to getting away with shit, right? You know what I mean? Because, like, they, they do fucked up shit to their own people all the time. And so it's like, I think it makes sense that they would be like, oh, we can do it to... It's like it's like the, when the Narcos... Yeah. I don't know if you ever watched Narcos, but they killed a, yeah. they killed a DEA yeah. agent. And they were like... They, and then they realized, like, oh, shit. Like, we can't treat these people... Like they're <laughs> like they're Mexicans, right? Like as bad as, as bad as that is, like hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people die in like the Mexican drug wars that live in Mexico. As soon as a federal agent gets killed, like all of a sudden, like the fucking army, the U.S. armies of Mexico, like yeah. cracking heads, right? Like I hope, I don't know if there is foul play. I hope whoever's responsible gets fucked up because it's like why, 
I don't understand. Like it seemed like it seemed like a really. What good do you think dude. the turning um, point was? Like, all right, we gotta fucking kill this guy. Was it like the gay T-shirt, or was it like, where wh- what do you think? Like they're like, all right, that's it. Because I'm keep thinking about it this way, right? If it's if it's about the gay T-shirt, right, the gay pride shirt, mm-hmm. that's a lot of white women who are gonna be upset. That's a lot of people we can ship out to well, Qatar to fight for us. So, <clears throat> kind of what you're talking about, right? I think, and maybe I'm wrong about this, but I think, I mean, I don't understand being so upset about a t-shirt that you're going to risk, like, this whole thing, this whole event, you know, that's already controversial as hell to, like, kill a guy, right? I don't understand that. Maybe they, Maybe they are just fucking, you know dark humans that wanted to make that happen who knows right what if he's like sitting on an on a story right or what if he saw something what if he like was in the stadium turned a corner saw some shit and like oh he like he knows something or he was about to publish a story about like what was happening in qatar right um that would really actually do some damage what if he's sitting Mm. because he's a reporter right and he's he was it seems like he was very good at his job what if he knew something Cause that that's what gets people killed. Like that's why Epstein's dead right now. You know what I mean? Cause he knows some shit, or knew some shit. Yeah, that that's probably honestly the likelihood of what happened. I think he probably just knew something. I think I think they were just I think there was that where they were just afraid that because he was so hell bent on exposing everything that was happening, um, they ended up just it's like saying fuck it. Well, we'll take the hit. Um, yeah, man, this is why you have to just stay out of the fucking Middle East, bro. Just get the fuck away from there, dude. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Well, that's another thing, you know. Um, obviously, you know, rest in peace to the guy. Condolences to his family. Um, I'm going to pivot a little bit, but, like, uh, where white women are in another pickle, right? <laughs> Because they're all about the rights and the beauty and the goodness of everyone who is not a white male, right? Everyone who is not a white male is fucking awesome. But then you go to the Middle East and they are still stoning women for showing their ankles. And it's like... Which which of those is going to win out? Is it the <laughs> feminism or is it the the cultural acceptance? Right, which one is more important? All right, if I was a suburban, bored white woman, which one are mm-hmm. we throwing in the Instagram bio right now? Because remember, like, stop Islam hate was a big thing a while ago. Mm-hmm. You're choosing. I don't know. I think they might stick to Islam. I think they might. I think they might find some things that the we is like. Well, well, he was disrespecting the culture. I think. I think, I think the white woman might find yeah. if, if if they make this a topic about Islam, right? I think they might make mm-hmm. this. Uh, they might blame it on the on the guy who didn't deserve to die. It's what a. Uh, but I'm talking about, like, the, the ladies. The ladies who are being screwed over in these countries, like in Saudi Arabia and shit. Right? Because they have a rough life. They, they're, like, have... <clears throat> they have to, like, share their husband with multiple ladies, right? Um, <clears throat> and if they, don't, if they don't do that, they're just, like, pariahs, like, social outcasts. Like, the, the, the only value you have in that society is, like, the man you're married to, right? Um... <clears throat> You're essentially just a, f- a factory for the for the babies, and like you just like make shit. Like it's it's literally like living there is what white women think their life is. You know what I mean? It's it's like what yeah. it actually like that's that's as bad as it gets. And so it's like, but so do we side with the, the women who are in trouble down there, or do we side with the the beautiful culture of? Um, you know what I mean? I don't. Under, I don't know wh- which way you go. And then you throw another wrinkle in there, right? Because there's the whole Israel Palestine thing. Like that's. It starts yeah. getting crazy. Like you start getting yeah. your wires crossed. Like who do I? Like I stand with fucking. Yeah, who? am I anti-Semitic? Like, I but I'm also. 
but I also like you can't have yeah stop uh uh stop Jewish hate and then free Palestine and stop Jewish hate free free Palestine but I also want women to have all the rights that men do yeah it's a it's a mess down That's there. A it really is. it's a tough it's a tough place. I think they're just what color square do you think the white women are gonna post on Instagram for this one this is tough. I don't think a square do it does it. I think you need um like a hexagon because so there's different. so many different yeah, angles so. to this thing, right? Like it's we call it hexagon. Yeah. This, this that's a tricky. We got to we got to get one of these white women like a very, you know, like claim sexual assault after everything. Like we got to ask them like where they stand on everything before they just tell us we're ignorant. We should have a uh... We should ask Megan the Dragon is who we should ask. Yeah. <laughs> I think she would have some interesting uh, yeah. thoughts. If anyone, anyone who may be listening to this down the future, we'll, we'll talk about this soon one day. <laughs> you have Megan the Dragon. We'll, we'll, uh... um, you know what's wild? Didn't she, didn't she say she has, like, kids? Do you think she makes her kids call her Megan the Dragon as opposed to, hey, Mom? It's like, no, it's Megan the Dragon. You think maybe that's your, like, I mean, I mean, she's me probably, like, pronouns, like, very, like, I'm not going to assume my kid's gender type shit. I think she might say her pronoun is Dragon. Um. Yeah, I don't I don't know what her deal. I don't know. Is Is the Dragon, I don't know. That's... When I'm a, uh, if I ever get to the point where I'm not terrified of that of that person, I'm gonna have some <laughs> questions for her. You know what I mean? But at this point in my life, I don't, don't want to get stabbed. Me. So I'm not gonna. I'm just, I'm just gonna. It's not even stabbed. Just like, I just hate like, like you know, like when you're in a social situation, right? It's like you're talking to someone, like um, like there's someone we work with who who you know who I'm talking about, but like you get in a social situation and you start talking and then you're fucking stuck. Like you can't, you can't get out of it. And you're like sitting there and like, so with this person we work with, like you're sitting there and you're just, you're, and you're not even saying it. You're just hearing shit come at your face. Like blah, 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 blah. blah. And it's just constant and it sucks. And you're just sitting there and it's like, and you're at like lunch or something. Right. And so it's like, I can't get up. Like I got to pay my check. Like I haven't finished my food yet. And so I'm just wolfing down my food, trying to make lunch go as fast as possible. Cause it's not going to end until we leave. And it's just a verbal assault. Right. I feel like that situation with Megan the dragon would be awful. Like, could you imagine getting stuck with her? Like for yeah, 20 minutes for context who uh, people don't know. She does stand up at a local club. We perform at sometimes. And, uh, 